Do you have a Logitech webcam that is still in default settings? Or maybe you took the settings off of somebody else and you don't really know what you're changing? My name is Nile like this, and today I'm going to teach you how to get the best possible settings on your Logitech webcam. So some of the things that we're going to go over, lighting, Logitech programs, webcam settings, and a few fixes to some problems you might encounter. I'm going to put the timestamps for each of these sections down in the description below so you can jump to whatever section is most relevant for you right now. With that all the way, let's get into lighting. Your camera needs light to be able to see you. The more light, the better the picture is going to be. The viewer's eyes are also guided towards the brightest thing that they see. Brighter equals better, unless it's drawing the eye away from what you want the focus to be. So to demonstrate how important lighting is, let's turn these lights off right now. So this is what it looks like when I turn off all of my lights. There's still a little bit of light coming in from my four monitors in front of me, but I did turn off the light up to my top right, a light to my left. I had a little bit of overhead lighting going on. Then I also had another light, which provided some background lighting, the blue color. So as you can probably tell, it's pretty hard to see anything really. So this is not ideal at all. Light is the most important part. So what I want to do now is turn on one light at a time from the most important to the least important. So the most important light is going to be called our key light. So our key light is going to be the brightest one and it looks something like this. So this light is very bright. It's up to my top right and it's going to illuminate my face primarily. You can see the background is still pretty dark um, and it's again guiding your eye towards my face right now. The issue that happens when you have one really strong key light like I have here and it's really close to me is that we start getting some really harsh shadows. You can see them on the side of my face here. So what we want to do is see if we can get some other light in here to try and balance that out and kind of correct that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a second light, which is going to be my fill light on the side, my other side. So if I turn that one on, we get something like this. Again, it's illuminating my face more and more. Helps a lot with some of those shadows. There's still a little bit in there, um, but nothing too crazy, nothing too extreme. Now, these are the only lights that I typically use when I'm streaming. So this is using a two point lighting setup. It's also possible to use a three point lighting setup if you have a light that's kind of above you to illuminate your hair and kind of create an edge that separates you from the background. So I don't typically do this when I stream, but let's see what that would look like. So this is adding in that hair light. So you can see that it adds a little bit of definition on the shoulders here, as well as a little bit on my hair that helps kind of pull me out and pull me forward in the frame. So having three points of light is probably the best you can do. But if you don't have three points of light, you can probably get away with just one or two. Plus, another thing to consider is that your monitors also provide light. So I have four monitors in front of me right now. If I change just one of them from being kind of a darker color to a brighter color, watch how dramatic of a difference this makes. So right now it's set to a dark theme. If I switch this over to a light theme, you can see how much more bright my face becomes. So if you can't add extra lighting right now, maybe see if you can switch to some light themes or some brighter colors on your monitors to help illuminate your face. So if you want to enhance the mood, you can also add some lighting behind you. So I recently picked up a 60 watt LED RGB blood light. Um, and so this one I can actually change the colors on. And here is what it looks like if I add this one with the blue that I was using at the beginning. So it really kind of fills out the background and kind of enhances the mood. And that's all there is to lighting. It's not super complicated, but it is the most important step. So next, let's take a look at some of the software we can use to control our webcam. Logitech makes a handful of different webcam software. Um, some of them include Logitech Capture, Logitech Gaming Software, Logitech Webcam Software, and most recently, they came out with Logitech G Hub. Personally, I recommend everyone install Logitech Webcam Software. I'll put a link for the download down below. I've also heard that Logitech G Hub may work, but your results may vary. So now that you have Logitech webcam software installed, let's go over to OBS and start tweaking some settings. Now that we're in OBS, let's reset everything back to default setting. So this is what my C920 thinks are the best settings. And as you can probably tell, it doesn't look very good. So let's see if we can improve this and figure out what everything is actually doing. So what we're going to just start is go over to our camera. We're going to double click it, which is going to bring up this properties window. And then what you want to do is make sure that your settings, at least down here, color space should be set to 601 color range partial. Those are the two that I want to make sure are correct. If you want to increase the resolution to a little bit higher. That's totally, totally fine. NADP works and anything below that is also totally fine. Uh, then once those are set, we're going to go into configure video. 
which is going to pull up the webcam controller. Now, what you might want to do is if you have multiple monitors, you can see that I can see myself in two spots right now. So what we can do is move one of them to another monitor to kind of have a point of reference for um, what the video is actually looking like. So I'm going to move this other window and then I'm going to pull up the Logitech webcam controller one more time. So now that we're in the Logitech webcam controller, let's move this over to the side so we can see what we're doing and go through each and every setting here. So the first set of settings is going to be the zoom controls. So we can use these to zoom in or zoom out. We're not going to touch these. We're going to leave them completely zoomed out. And the control over here only works if we're zoomed in. So we're going to leave that alone as well. Follow my face. We're going to leave unchecked. What this does, if we do have it checked, is you'll notice that the camera will try following my face. And it's pretty stuttery and very strange. So I would leave that one unchecked personally. Right sound. Uh, that's going to be if you're using the internal microphone on the webcam. I personally would not use the internal microphone. And I have heard that some people have issues if you do leave this one checked. So I would leave this one unchecked. Autofocus, I would also leave unchecked. Uh, I see this a lot in a lot of streams. And you will see the focus kind of bounce in and out as the camera is hunting for focus. And it's really distracting. And I would personally leave this one unchecked. So with that unchecked, you can actually have manual control of your focus with this slider down below here. So we can see on the left side, it's got a picture of mountains and on the right side, it's got a picture of a flower. So this is for if you want something that's really, really close to the camera in focus. And this is for things that are farther away. Personally, I can't get anything other than farthest to the left setting to look proper with my camera. So if we do adjust this, you'll see that the image becomes more and more blurry as we slide it to the right and it'll become more clear as we slide to the left. So we're gonna leave that one completely slid to the left. Next, we jump into advanced settings. So advanced settings here, we're gonna turn off every single one of these checkboxes. So we're gonna turn off right light because we want full control. We're gonna turn off the auto gain and we're also gonna turn off the auto white balance. And we're gonna go through and do every one of these settings so first up is exposure. Exposure is the sensitivity of your webcam. You want to get this as low as possible while still letting in enough light. So one thing that you'll notice is if you slide this to the right, that the camera is actually going to start lagging. The frame rate is going to start dropping. So let's do this as a quick demo. So if I start moving my hand here, you can see kind of there's a little bit of ghosting happening. But if I start turning this up more and more, the ghosting becomes more extreme. So you want to make sure that the exposure is set as low as you can get it while still making the image bright. So I think I usually set mine around here. Now, next up is gain. Gain is going to be adding in some artificial light. So we're going to want to turn this down because when we have it kind of cranked up like this, you can see that there's a lot of grain that happens in the image. Uh, it almost looks like things are kind of shimmering. Um, the, cam the webcam is always going to have a little bit of grain in it, but if we turn this down, it becomes a little less dramatic. So for the gain for myself, I usually try and have this around middle or a little bit lower. You might need it a little bit higher depending on your settings and the light that you have in your room. Next up is brightness. Brightness is going to control your black levels, how black the blacks are. So with this one, if we start turning this down more, you'll see if you look over to the, the side here where my guitar is, it's a black guitar and it's also got a uh, black stand that it's sitting on. And you can see if I start turning it up, you can separate the two a little bit. But if you turn it down more, the blacks become a little bit deeper, a little bit more rich. So what we're going to do is set it, I think, around there. That looks pretty good to me. Um, Contrast is next. Contrast is going to be the difference between light and dark. So in this frame, my face is the brightest and the lightest thing. And probably my guitar over there or my shirt are some of the darker things. So we can adjust this. And if we slide it over, you'll see some strange sort of things happen to my face where it becomes very dramatic. Uh, and also, if we start sliding to the right, it starts making me look really old and gray and green. So we want to have this somewhere in between those two, somewhere that looks fairly natural. So we're going to probably go somewhere around there. I think that looks pretty good. Um, next up is color intensity. This is the vibrance or the saturation of the colors. 
So what I usually like to do is bump up the colors just a little bit. Starts making those blues a little bit more intense. You don't want to go overboard with this uh, and it can start looking really unnatural if you start going too far. And the last slider on here is white balance. So the way I recommend dialing this one in is to have something white in the image and try and dial this in so that the white looks proper. So for me, I know I like this a little bit lower here. If we start sliding it super far to the left, you can see it becomes really blue. And if you slide it really far to the right, it becomes really kind of like orange. So I like this one kind of in the middle. Um, another thing you can do is hold up a white piece of paper and see if you can make that white piece of paper look white. Now we're almost done. Last few things you want to just make sure are checked are anti-flicker. If you're in North America, you want to use NTSC. And if you're in Europe, you're going to want to use 50 Hertz, the PAL version. And I would leave the anti-flicker on. Another thing to note about the anti-flicker is if you start noticing some horizontal lines going across your screen like this and they're moving upwards, you might want to slide your exposure one stop to the right or one stop to the left. This should get rid of that issue. And the last thing you want to look at here is image orientation. So this is normal. This is what the camera is actually seeing. And if you want it flipped, you can do mirrored, which completely flips everything around. I would leave this on normal uh, in case you're wearing any shirts or clothing that have text on them. Um, they will only be legible in normal. And that's it for your C920 settings. I would recommend going over these a few times because every time you tweak one thing, it's going to slightly tweak one of the others. So I would go over this a second time. Let me do that right now. So I think right about there. I did have to tweak everything just a little bit, but it was already really close. If you have to go over this two or three times and then once we're done, we're going to click on save. Now we're almost done, but there's one more thing we're going to do in OBS to really make this quality. So the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a filter to our webcam. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go over to sources, right click on our webcam, hit filters, go into effect filters and add in a color correction filter. You can hit OK. And then we are going to be adjusting this ever so slightly. I'm going to move this over to the side again so we can see on the large screen what exactly we are doing. And we're going to make just a few small tweaks in here. Gamma is the first one we are going to tweak. Gamma controls the mid tones. So just like we saw earlier with controlling the dark tones or the lighter tones, this one is going to control a little bit of the mids. And now what we're going to do to really make this look great is we're going to turn the gamma down ever so slightly. I like this at about minus 0 0.07. I think that looks about right. And then I also like to adjust the saturation ever so slightly and add in just a little bit of saturation. Just a little bit, something like that. And these settings should work fairly well for most people. Let's take a look at what this looks like with the color correction on and off. So I think it looks a whole lot better with that turned on. And then you can click close and that is it as far as settings. Now, the last thing I want to talk about are a few issues that I have encountered using Logitech webcams. The biggest issue I've encountered is my settings not being saved. Now, the only way that I've found this to work is if I have Logitech webcam software installed and I have it boot at startup. So you want to double check that in your task manager, Logitech webcam software is in the startup section and it is enabled. If it isn't enabled, when you boot up OBS, you might have to re input your settings every single time you reboot your computer. And this is really frustrating. Another issue I've run into is I use two cameras. I have two C920s, one for this camera and one for my Fiona camera. And I can't actually adjust both cameras with the Logitech webcam software. I can only adjust one at a time. Now, the workaround that I've found is if you plug in your secondary camera first and dial in the settings, and then afterwards you plug in your primary camera and you adjust the settings there, your secondary camera, the settings will be saved. You won't be able to adjust them unless you go through this process again, um, but you can change your primary camera settings at any point. So it's kind of an annoying workaround, but hopefully Logitech will update their drivers and this won't be an issue for forever. So that's pretty much all there is to it. If you found the video helpful, give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, throw them in the comment section down below. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I also want to remind you that I live stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash annihilate this and they're Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. So I hope to catch you there as well. Have a good one and I'll catch you later.
What is it uh, doing? <laughs> that, I guess. My turn again. What is it doing? That was amazing. I think it's like cold. Hot. Hot. Run away. <laughs>